Hi friends, welcome to my mini class. I'm Elisa and today I want to show you how to use the foil in your layout. I'm creating a layout with the April 2024 kits and the big chipboard title from the March kits. I'll use the foil in two colors, aqua and white, metal dies, the butterflies and the leaves, double-sided tape, scissors and the baking paper. I also used my Big Shot, my old Big Shot, as you can see the cutting plates are very used but they still work. I'm going to use in this layout the foil in three different ways and this is the first. I stick the double sided tape on the baking paper. I create my sandwich and then I run this through the machine. For my background, uh, I'm going to use uh, the Frosted Mint uh, cardstock from the cardstock kit. I took the butterfly from the metal die, since uh, this is uh, an intricate uh, cutting die and uh, I used uh, not a cardstock but a, a double-sided tape, I need to remove, patiently remove all the little details. If you don't want to do this kind of work, you can use a simple, um, simple cutting die with solid and simple shapes. I decided where I want to place the chipboard frame with the picture and then I take away the, um, the baking paper from the butterfly and I stick it on on the background. I gently peel off the protective film of the double saddle tape and then I apply a little piece of aqua foil in, on, my, on my butterfly. I adhere the uh, foil to the butterfly and uh, then uh, I um, remove the sex. In this way you uh, achieve a beautiful and shining butterfly directly on uh, your background uh, paper. I created a lot of butterflies with this technique and I stick them all around the page.
now I'm going to use the second technique. In this case I adhere the double sided tape not on the baking paper but on a piece of cardstock. I created the sandwich with the plate, the cardstock and the, the, the double sided tape, the cutting die uh, the other uh, uh, plate and uh, I run this uh, through the cutting machine. As I did before, I patiently remove all the little pieces. They tend to stay on the die because I'm using the tape, not only the cardstock. I took uh, the butterfly, I peel off the um, protective film of the double sided tape and then I gently applied a little piece of white holographic and iridescent foil. In this case uh, you will get uh, this uh, um, very shiny butterfly and uh, uh, you can uh, adhere him on the background or you can use uh, a foam tape to get a more dimensional look. And now it's time to decorate the page. I decided to use the uh, big uh, um, chipboard titles from the March 2024 kits. I decided to place uh, the letters uh, in a messy way to create a more dynamic effect. I am going to complete the title with this amazing puffy sticker from the April 2024 kits. So I added the, these cute uh, words, uh, uh, lovely life, to get the title, love this lovely life. And then I use uh, the, the but some butterflies here and there to, um, to decorate my page.
In the kits uh, you will always find uh, some label, uh, uh, tabs, uh, and uh, in this case uh, I decided to use um, a little mint uh, um, ticket where uh, I will uh, write uh, the journaling uh, at the end. Then uh, I decorated a little uh, label with the phrase. I used uh, the um, aqua ink from the color kit and uh, a little phrase from the uh, stamp kit. I created a little cluster of embellishment on the top of the page on the left and now I'm start uh, to use the third technique. I only um, applied a little amount of glue uh, on the on the cardstock. I um, added um, the foil and then I peel off to get this messy look and I do this I use this this technique on the four edges. So for my challenge you have to create a page a layout using one of these three techniques with the foil and uh, be sure to uh, upload uh, your project on the right album on the Facebook group. A winner uh, will be selected for a gift certificate. I hope to have inspired you to add the foil to your creation and uh, I wish you a funny and crafty International Scrapbooking Day. Bye!